to be or not to be? That is the question. Well, it is noble in the mind to suffer the slings and arrows of outrageous fortune, or to take arms against a sea of troubles and by opposing in them. To die. To sleep. No more. And by sleep we say to end the heartache and the thousand natural shocks that the flesh is heir to. It is a consummation devoutly to be wished. To die. To sleep. Sleep a chance to dream, I there's the rub. For in the sleep of death what dreams may come when we have shuffled off this mortal coil must give us pause. There's the respect that makes calamity of so long life. For who would suffer the whips and scorns of time, the oppressor's wrong, the proud man's contumely? The pangs of despise love the laws delay, the insolence of office and the patient merit that the unworthy take when he himself might as quiet as make with a bare bodkin. For who fardels bear to grunt and sweat under a weary life? But that the dread of something after death, the undiscovered country, from whose born no traveller returns puzzles the will, and makes us rather bear those ills we have than fly to others that we know not of. <laughs> thus conscience does make cowards of us all, and thus native hue of resolution is sickly old with the pale cast of thought, and enterprises of great pit and moment. With this regard their currents turn awry, and lose the name of action.